welcome back guys i hope you are doing well and in today's video we are finally going to create a database schema using our mysql workbench so let's get started first of all you need to go to start and type in workbench and this should pop up at the top of your results i'm just gonna click it and it will open all right so these are the connections i have created previously but just to show you how to create one you need to create a connection by clicking on this plus icon so just click on this one and it will open this window so connection name you can give it whatever name you want i'm just gonna call it mysql2 because there is already one all right mysql2 and host name port port number username everything should remain default and after that you can just click on test connection if there is this message box that says a successful mysql connection was made that means there is nothing to worry about you are ready to go all right so just click on ok button and then again click on ok now here you will uh, see this little uh, this little uh, whatever you call it appear that says mysql2 now this instance is the one which i just created so to connect to the database at this address and port number which is our default sql server i'm just gonna click it and it will take me to the database query table now this is where all our schemas are generated created and manipulated now at the left hand side you will see schemas now this is where we need to create a schema or database before we can start to add tables now schemas can be created from two methods the first method is writing a query here uh, something like create schema schema name all right so this is one way if i run this query a new schema will be created now uh, note that guys there are two ways to run queries in workbench imagine i have multiple queries and i want to execute all of them at once then what i do i select all of them and press this little thunderbolt button here and if i want to ex create exact execute exactly one query then i keep my cursor at the end of the last semicolon and click this one all right execute the statement under the keyboard cursor so these are the two main differences between these two buttons you need to keep that in mind so i just need to create a new schema first i right click here and then create a schema here i give the schema name let's call it my schema keep in mind guys schema is nothing new it's just a fancy name for your database which is set of rules but i'm not gonna specify any rules here so you don't need to worry about that i'm just giving it a name my schema and then click on apply after that this is the query set that is going to be executed now i don't want to add any external rules here that's why i'm going to just keep it as it is however if i wanted to add any rule set to the schema database i would definitely declare them here before clicking on apply but i just need to keep this one so i just keep it simple and as it is and then click on apply now execute a sql statements and click finish now you will see two changes in this window one at the bottom apply changes to my schema changes applied which means a new schema or database has been created the second change you will see is at the left corner here a my schema database that says schema my schema now if i expand it and expand the tables well i am double clicking it i don't know whether you guys can listen it or not but nothing is happening because there is absolutely nothing inside the tables of my schema why because we haven't created any tables here we need to create them right now how do we do that click on query and first of all we need to use my schema databases but before using that database let me show you how to see the list of databases available i just type in show databases one more thing guys here you see show databases one in upper cases and on the lower cases be consistent don't do this either keep it lowercase or uppercase 
MySQL is a case insensitive language so you can choose whichever you want it's a matter of personal preferences so I'm just keeping it show databases all right now if I execute this query using this icon here at the bottom you will see show databases and something appears up here what the hell is this well this are the these are the databases that are currently present at this server let's make it a look a little nicer I'm just going to click in here all right so these are the databases available my schema is the one I just created so I need to go inside this database how do we do that first of all I write a query here use my schema which basically means I want to use this database now execute this query all right use the schema now I'm inside this database now a database consists of tables so we need to create a table here right let's create a table create table uh, what do I call it let's call it student I'm going to create a student table now inside of this I'm gonna define some parameters and attributes for the student a student should have a student ID so there should be ID number I'm just calling it ID and it should be of type integer INT all right and a student should also have a name and it should be of type let's say not just name student name and it should be of type uh, var care all right a maximum of 25 characters so it means that I want to have a student ID and a student name of this much characters and let's let let me add one more parameter uh, let's call it age and it's of type integer as well so that's it oh god what the hell all right after that I just close it by putting the open closed parenthesis now make sure to close it another thing is that I could have created this table in one single row you know I have I could have put this inside here this one here and this one here as well but that doesn't look good you need to maintain the readability as well as maintainability it's easier to read maintain see you know so this is how you do it after so after defining a table you can now run you can let me just use a schema now what happens if I use if I want to see this table student let me just fire up a query let's say select star from student so I want to see whatever is present inside the table student star means select everything so this query basically means select everything you have from the student table so let me scale it and if I run it oh there is an error because there is nothing inside the student table right create table student let me execute it one more time and select a star from student all right so something had gone wrong previously i think this we are we were using a different schema now inside now right now we're inside my schema database and using the table student and if I run select star from student although the query is executed you'll see there is a row that says ID these are the column names ID student name and age this is the only row thereafter there are no rows present which means the table is empty so how do we insert values inside the table to fill the values inside this table I use this query it says insert into the table name which in this case is a student all right and the open parenthesis after the open parenthesis here we define the column names and the column names are id student name and age so i just need to use id student name and age all right and the next line I insert the values using the values keyword now note I need to put, uh, enter some ID here and ID should be of integer type 
integer type so I just give it an integer and the next section the next attribute is of student name which is of character where character type which means variable number of characters with a maximum of 25 characters allowed so I'm just giving it let's say let's let me give it my name Gotham and after that age uh, all right I have lived long enough 200 years so this is how it goes this is one single query now if I need to execute it I just run this command over from this icon over here at the bottom you will see insert into student blah 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 one row is affected which means one row has been affected or one row has been created how do we see that just click here and run this statement select a star from student and run this command and you see there is a new row that's the id1 student name is Gotham and age is 200 all right let's add few more rows so that the table looks a little nicer let's make it a little smaller and now just let me create a few more entries or records let's me let me change the values let's say this is three and let me make it four and let me make it five Tom let's say Tom Tim no I don't want time Tony can't I think anything different let's say Tina oh god all the T names all right so this is my age let's say this is he's 20 years old he is 30 years old he is 25 and let's say Tina is 20 again all right now I want to execute these selected queries without without uh, executing this one so what I do I just select these queries and then hit this button over here and now at the bottom you will see one rows affected four times which means four rows were affected now to see that again I execute this query say to start from student all right I put my cursor here and execute using this icon and you will see a new table created not really new table new columns created four new columns with the values I just entered all right so this is how you create a table inside a schema or database using mysql workbench now there are a few more things guys before i wrap this up uh, in this case i have created the variable id integer integer is a data type which means the data should be of integer type there are many more data types available in mysql we will discuss all those data types in the next section we will also see what are constraints in this table we have not created any constraint in the next section we will be so uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching